everyone, it's time for story time. And this week, I'm going to read out of a book that Pastor Jeremy let me borrow this week because I thought it would be really great stories to share with you. So the book is called Superhero Storybook, Strong and Brave Bible Heroes Who Changed the World for Jesus. So here's the front of the book. It should be really good. So the first superheroes I'm going to read about are superheroes Caleb and Joshua. Two men with a rock-solid faith in God. In our lesson, remember, we talked about having faith. So I thought I would read a couple of stories about some superheroes who had faith. Super rock-solid faith. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. He led them out of slavery. God had promised them freedom and a land they could call their own. They walked for a long time, and finally they reached the land of Canaan. This was the land God promised to give them way back when they left Egypt. Yes, God had promised to give them this land to be their homeland. But there were people already living there, so the Israelites would have to fight them and win to be able to take over the land. Moses sent 12 spies into Canaan to see what the land was like. When they returned, 10 of the spies said, Oh, yes, the land is beautiful. It grows wonderful plants. We would never be hungry there. But the people who live there are giants. They could never, we could never defeat them. We should just forget about the land. We could never win. Two other spies, Caleb and Joshua, trusted God. And they said, Look, God promised us this land. It is already ours. He will help us win, even against giants. Let's get going. The people listened to what the ten scared spies had to say. They also listened to what Caleb and Joshua said, but the people, they didn't trust God enough to believe he would help them win. They didn't even believe he would do another miracle to help them. So the people decided to believe the ten doubters instead of Caleb and Joshua. They decided they couldn't try to take the land of Canaan. God punished the people because they didn't trust him. Their punishment was that they had to wander around in the wilderness for 40 years instead of going into their own new homeland. So here's the pictures on that. Yeah, they should have listened, right? Trusted and, and had faith. Superhero characteristics. Caleb and Joshua believed God would do what he promised. They had a strong and firm faith in God. They believed in a great and mighty God who could do the impossible. Superhero tip. When God says he's going to do something, believe him. Even if it seems impossible, he always keeps his word. God is faithful to do what he says. So, I like the colorful pages, don't you, boys and girls? I do, too. So, that was Joshua and Caleb. I got another one. Superhero David, the giant slayer. Can a young boy be a superhero? David was. He showed superhero bravery. David's older brothers were soldiers in King Saul's army, and David went to visit them. They were camped on a hill across from the Philistine army. One of the Philistine soldiers, a nine-foot-tall giant named Goliath, kept shouting at King Saul's army. He shouted bad things about God. He challenged them to send someone out to fight him. But King Saul's soldiers were all afraid to fight the giant. David went to King Saul and announced, I'll fight Goliath. King Saul said, You're too little. You can't fight him. But David knew that he had God on his side, and he wasn't scared at all. King Saul gave David his own armor to wear so he would be safer. But it was too big on David that he couldn't even walk. David took the armor off and grabbed his slingshot and five smooth stones before he headed down the hill to meet the giant. 
Oh, it made Goliath angry to see that a boy was coming to fight him. Come on, Goliath yelled. I'll feed you to the birds. But David still wasn't scared. He said, you may have a shield and spear, but I have God on my side. He will help me win. David put a stone in his slingshot and swung it around. When he let it go, the stone flew through the air and hit Goliath right in the head. The soldier fell to the ground. David had won. So here's a picture of David. Ooh, there he is with his slingshot. Wow. He had God on his side. He had faith that God was going to help him. And he did. Superhero characteristic. David was brave and fearless. He wasn't afraid of a big, scary giant. He had God on his side. Superhero tip. David was not foolish to be so brave. He was brave because he knew that God would help him win the battle. God will help you too. All you have to do is trust him. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Another great hero, right? Wow. I got one more for you. The greatest hero of all. Who do you think that is? Superhero Jesus. The greatest, best superhero ever. Many times as Jesus was teaching, he said that God had sent him to do something so extraordinary that it would help the whole world. One evening, Jesus had a special meal with his disciples. Later that night, Jesus asked some of his disciples to go with him to a garden where he wanted to pray. While he was praying, some angry men came and took him away. They took him to their leaders who put him on trial. And those leaders accused Jesus of things he did not do. They called him names, treated him badly, and had him beaten. But Jesus remained silent. A while later, on a hill outside of the town, Jesus was put on a cross and died. People from all over came and were sad. Jesus' body was taken from the cross and placed in a tomb, closed up by a large stone with soldiers standing guard. Jesus' friends were heartbroken at what they thought was such a terrible end. Three days later, something amazing happened. The stone at the tomb was rolled back, and the angel appeared to tell Jesus' friends that he was not there. Jesus has, had ridden, risen. Soon after, Jesus showed himself to his friends. He was alive. Jesus had defeated death and proved that he was sent by God to give eternal life to anyone who follows him. Jesus has said God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son, so that whoever believed in him will not die forever, but will have eternal life. Jesus is the hero of heroes. Superhero characteristic. Jesus is the greatest hero the world will ever see. He died on the cross for our sins, and he defeated death when he rose from the dead. What a mighty and awesome God he is. Superhero tip. Putting others first requires giving up things we think we deserve. Jesus put others first so much that he gave his life for everyone so that everyone might have eternal life, living with God forever. God so loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Mm, that's so wonderful. Oh, wait a minute. Here's one more. You are special to God. Do you have a favorite Bible superhero? What do you think about your superhero story? Do you wonder if you could 
be a superhero like David or Joshua? Guess what? You can. You are God's own special superhero. God has special work that only you can do. He will give you his superpower to do that work too. Use the courage and strength he gives you to be brave and strong. Use the kind and caring heart he gives you to show others that you care about them. And God does too. God gave you a superhero guidebook. It's the Bible. Read it. Learn it. And remember that you can also ask God for special help anytime you need it. Do God's work and be a superhero. Awesome, boys and girls. See, you're a superhero too in God's eyes. Well, I hope you all enjoyed our superhero stories today. And until I see you next week with another lesson and another story, remember, until I see you again, blessings to you all. Have a great week, everyone.